morning and here we are in ready for part three so in part one you saw the um collection of the van and obviously what we have spec wise and what we're planning to do uh part two was the sound deadening insulation uh, and so forth uh, part three is going to be a, a slight continuation of the insulation i'm going to be using some of the foam backed uh, sorry foil backed uh, bubble wrap to go over all of the fleece and the panelling uh, ready for uh, vel trim or carpet, uh, four way stretch carpet trim before the inner panels uh, are applied. Also, going to be cutting out the um, ply section for the rear panels to mount the uh, Scorver bed beams uh, so that we get the right height clearance for the bikes that are going to go in the back and uh, obviously give us enough room for height in the, in the bed above. So just gonna show you um, the bits and bobs we're gonna be doing and using today. So this is the oil backed bubble wrap. It's just a thin layer. It just adds that little bit of a, um, a vapor barrier as well as a slight insulation. And it also will help to stop um, any kind of rattles as you uh, put any um, ply against metal or if you've got um, carpet on top of this as well it would start to like a nice uh, cushion to fix things too and then we have ply I'm just going to be using 9mm ply 9mm ply just to make panelling which is going to go up to about here and across so there'll be a slight lift there but on top of that's going to be the bed slats and the mattress will go back into this recess so that's going to go up to uh, 93 centimeters height um, to give us enough clearance when the bed beams are on to give us an 83 centimeter uh, height clearance for the bikes so I will be foil trimming this section uh, before I then mount those. I'm also going to be making the measurements to cut the relevant line. So we started to trim around these little um, reinforcing beams, um, used the high temperature spray adhesive just to uh, pop that on and then cut out the recess for where the kind of the headboard is going to go. Also cut out the bracket here because the wood is going to come down across there and this will be carpet trimmed as well but also I'll get the wood on first and then carpet trimmed down to it because below the bed in the garage it's not going to be carpet trimmed because it's going to have bikes and things in there so the wood I'll just probably um, paint the wood so uh, there we go that's the first section in just got this last bit in to do here and we've already done all over that side, all down window recesses and into the corners. So that's just going to add a nice vapor barrier and keep all that uh, fleece um, dodo thermo fleece liner intact. So we're coming up to 71 at that height to come around that little bracket up, across, and up because there is. A little bit of a dog leg in the wall around about here as you can see it comes along and then it kicks back so obviously I don't want to be bending the, the ply I want it to kind of sit along and up morning YouTubers 
So we're uh, progressing today with the uh, bed frame. So we've got the side panels, as you can see from the previous pictures and video, cut to shape going around the, um, the brackets at the back. I've marked off uh, the um, holes I'm going to use to put the M6 um, bolts and lock nuts through to hold it and then I'll use um, sparingly some self tapper screws in certain places that I can't get a bolt through. Uh, the bolts obviously to make a good secure uh, fixing um, for the bed to mount to. So let's have a look what we're going to do. So I've marked off where each of the holes are. I'm then going to transfer that kind of line onto the top of there and then I'll measure um, from the floor up to where the hole is and mark out the holes where I'm going to bolt through. So that's what we're going to do now. So I've marked these out, the holes are 10 centimetres uh, apart. So I kind of eyed them up from the, the red lines on the back and then measured from the end to the first one just to make sure I was in the right track and then went along 10 centimetres every hole all the way to the end. So we'll drill the first pilot hole. I'll probably go somewhere in the middle um, measure up how high we need to go and we'll see if we're near enough on, on point. So I've gone with these M6 uh, Allen bolts with a washer, penny washer, match that up with a M6 drill bit, that's the right size and then we'll uh, drill the pilot holes in. Well, we've done the pilot holes already but then we'll make those bigger, make sure that these go through and line up with the holes at the back. I've clamped the two side pieces together because they're both identical, symmetrical, just so that I can drill the um, pilot hole through so that they're in the same place. And then um, the same is measuring up again. So trying to uh, get on the first one, Allen key down the back and locate it on the back of the Allen bolt. Uh, it was tricky but doable with a bit of slack on the board but once it got tighter it was quite hard. That is the first one but then found easier on the next few to hold the, the bolt from the back with the pair of pliers and get the lock nut as far on and then once it's on hold the bolt from the front and then have a ring spanner on the back. And those are on nine now, so no, nice and tight. We'll carry on and do the rest. Ta-da! We have one bed beaming. So I'm just going to spin the camera around and I'll just show you what we've uh, mounted this in and now we're going to do the others. Firstly measured the height uh, clearance needed for the uh, fork mount for the bike which is going to go just there and as you can see here I needed 81mm clearance to get the bike under and then I could go up to 83mm um, for the handlebars. We then marked off the line that that needed to be mounted. Put the uh, bed beam mount straight onto the metal there. I've had to use, because I can't get bolts through that area, I've actually used these uh, DL, DIAL 4.8 by 25 mil long, but they're like a self, self tapper. See that there? So that self taps through the metal and then you've got a decent thread. Decent size head so I could actually get a washer through. So it was a good support there, and uh, as you'll see, there's not many screws everywhere. That's mounted right the way across the back for the first beam. The middle beam, which we mounted there, I will bolt through the top outer two. Might even be able to get a bolt through the, uh, the middle one as well, um, and then this end will be self-tapped again through into the metal. So that will be pretty strong enough once the uh, frame is all together. So, 
first beam in, here's the acid test. Let's see if it supports my weight. And I think we're on. So, pretty solid. The middle one's gonna be bolted. These are self tucked through, but pretty sturdy there, straight into the frame. It's gonna take the weight of two people. Job done. There we have it, all three bed beams are in. The middle ones, I mentioned, are bolted in, nuts and bolts, and I've just put some black electrical tape around the back just so there's no sharp edges. So that's the main middle support, three nuts and bolts. And we've got tech screws into the back and that side, and the same here. And next, we've got to make up the um, bed base uh, with the bed slats and then box the wheel arches in and then make the other bed that's going to go here that will be in the next bit so I've got my little helper again Luca's going to help do the bed slats aren't you Luca? yep so what we're doing first we're going to measure okay can pull that all the way across we're going to measure how wide the bed slats are so what we need to do is just lift that up that's it and what does that say in centimetres let's have a little look so that's about 175 and a half. Luckily, Daddy's been prepared and I've already written it there. Haven't oh, no. I? So 175 and a half, we've already pre measured that middle one, 175 and a half. And the one at the back, if you can see, is 173, because we know the tape. So let's get cutting. All right, let's see how strong you are, Luca. Can you push that down and pull that one out? Oh, how strong are you? Perfect, well done. Twist it, that's it, good job. And then twist it back the other way. Keep twisting it. Twist it all the way over. That's it. And you'll probably have to pull it out of your hand now. Mind your fingers. So with the piece that we've cut off, we just align back up with the end just to drill the holes through so that they're in the right place. Each one of these I've marked with the relevant um, back middle one and then two for the uh, B1 and B2 so you know which end they've come off and then just drill the hole through so they all line up. So we've got an absolutely perfect fit along that beam to there and then halfway over that beam in between the bolts and then the other bed beam will rest there and across to the back. And as you see from the pictures it supports my weight as well as Luca. So if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and like and subscribe and please check out the music at YouTube Music, iTunes and Spotify.